Hello, my name is George Hewn, founder and president of Data Machines. Today we're going to talk about project ranking and some of the important things that you should know when you're thinking about purchasing or using a project ranking system. Project ranking is at the heart of project portfolio management. A good project portfolio ranking system should not only make the job much easier and faster, but also yield a superior result over doing it manually or with simple spreadsheets. Almost every project portfolio management system comes with its own twist on project ranking. Some are good, some are excellent, some are poor, and some are just wrong. A value maximizing and clearly understandable project portfolio ranking system is an essential part of any project portfolio management system. It should be based on sound, quantitative, and modern decision science. Here are some of the things to consider about project portfolio ranking systems. Avoid systems that rank based on purely financial metrics alone, such as net present value or return on investment. The major limitation of using purely financial metrics is that it can underestimate the true value of the projects, such as time to market advantages or increased shareholder value. With NPV, higher discount rates selected to account for higher project risk can bias portfolios towards shorter term projects with faster payoffs because longer term projects may be overly discounted. Look for systems that prioritize based on the integration of value adding criteria into the ranking system. Systems that use multi-criteria decision analysis or multi-attribute utility theory usually do this. However, make sure that you have flexibility in the type of data that you can use and that you can adjust the utility or attractiveness curves to reflect your preferences. Avoid systems that use the analytic hierarchy process, AHP, for project ranking. AHP is one of the more popular project ranking techniques and is appealing by its seeming simplicity. However, it is not a quantitatively sound technique for ranking projects. Look for systems that let you test sensitivity and understand how the portfolio changes under different scenarios. Sensitivity testing can be important in testing the robustness of your ranking. Most systems only let you rank based on a most likely scenario. Select a system that can handle uncertainty in the data and the ranking system parameters. Systems that use Monte Carlo simulations to simulate multiple portfolio scenarios automatically are ideal for this. Avoid systems that rank projects based solely on pseudo-quantitative methods such as, quote, balance, unquote, or, quote, portfolio alignment, unquote, or other non-value maximizing approach. While these names may sound intuitive and appealing, most are pure snake oil when it comes to solid project portfolio ranking. They do not create value maximizing portfolios. Look for systems that have clear and understandable graphical presentations of the data. But remember that pretty charts are not a substitute for sound data analysis. If you need too many charts to explain your results, then you'll likely confuse your stakeholders. Choose systems that have mathematically and theoretically sound methods. Be sure that you can understand qualitatively how it works and that you can explain it to others, because you're surely going to need to later. Avoid vendors that will not or cannot show you the underlying mathematics and explain to you in plain language how it maximizes portfolio value. Before you buy, try the project portfolio management software that you have selected on a small portfolio of, say, 12 to 20 real or fictional projects using the project metrics that you expect to be using. The application should prioritize the project in a way that is understandable and makes sense to you. If it does not, then there may be something wrong with the underlying logic. A portfolio ranking system is an aid to good decision making and should reflect your values and strategies. In summary, be sure that the underlying project ranking methodology is sound and testable. Be aware of tools that use pseudo-quantitative methods for project ranking or do not offer any methodology for sensitivity testing. And make sure that you can test the tool on a small project portfolio so you can be certain that you understand the results. If you want to learn more about project ranking and have a hands-on experience with a state-of-the-art application, then you should try OPSI our project ranking and portfolio optimization tool. Simply go to www.datamachines.com, click on the free trial button, and sign up. I'll personally arrange for a free one-hour training where you can see exactly how what we just talked about works and ask any questions that you have. Then you can try Opsi for yourself for free in your business with full support for 30 days. It may be the best investment of an hour of your time that you'll make this year. 
Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.